What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV we have a very exciting video. I just received a package from Loft Discs. We finally have the new silicon, the overstable mid-range. I was able to get my hands on a Founders Edition and then an Alpha Solid blue one which looks absolutely amazing. They look good and they feel good. My biggest concern when it comes to any mid-range, especially overstable mid-range, is that it's not only overstable, but also torque resistant. Most of my overstable mid throws are going to be with a forehand, and particularly I enjoy a flex forehand. So I, I actually just recently lost my DGA Quake. It was a first run and it was super overstable, and I no longer have it. I, I honestly, I just left it on the course somewhere, can't find it. So now I was just kind of waiting for these to come in and I'm hoping they have a similar profile. They're very flat and they're very comfortable to hold on to. You can see the rim is not very wide. It's not a very fast disc. It's only a five speed. But what I really like for forehand overstable mids is the flatness and they both have a very flat top. That gives me a really comfortable split grip. My thumb fits on top really nicely. So we're gonna give both of them a throw. We'll do one backhand and one forehand so you guys can see how overstable is the new silicon from Loft Discs. Go backhand then forehand. Just as we expected, um, an overstable mid on a backhand. My backhand's not super torquey, so I don't really tend to turn my mids over too much anyway. Really, the moneymaker shot for me is going to be the flex forehand, so we'll give one of those a go as well. So this can be something that, you know, is a concern for me when I I perf I prefer my overstable mids to be able to handle the torque with a little bit of Anheuser and an optimal overstable mid will actually flex out for me a little bit on a line like that. We'll grab them and we'll throw them again and I'll put a little bit less angle on it. I'll just try it flat, but ideally my overstable mids don't have turn. They should be working to fade the whole time and that's going to be that money flight for that flex forehand shot that I'm looking for. So we'll walk over, we'll grab them, we'll throw them back this way. I'll probably just go double forehands flat. We'll see if we can't get a little more desirable flight out of the forehand. So we have both silicons here. I'm gonna try a more flat. I might have over anted it a little bit, but I just threw it on an angle that I know my old DGA Quake could fly on. This disc is a 5403. So the idea behind the disc is that it's going to start trying to fight out immediately. The goal of this disc is to fade. And on, on a less torquey backhand throw that is definitely the case and it's really great for backhand but a lot of people should be aware that forehands contain a lot more off-axis torque on the disc which can cause the disc to turn more than a backhand throw for most players so we're gonna try them flat hopefully they don't turn that's my that's my nightmare is that if these turn if it just fades then I'll be happy Try one more. It was a little bit better. Honestly, I don't love the fact that it, when you throw it hard with that little bit of torque, even hard and flat, it's wanting to pick up and go to the left a little bit. It reminds me a lot, not nearly as bad, but like the Paul Macbeth Malta when it first came out, I was, it's supposed to be, it was supposed to be a plus one turn and like a three or a four fade. And I would forehand it and it would just pick up and turn. And I, I don't want that out of an overstable utility disc. I want to know with 100% confidence with no matter the release angle, that disc will be fighting to go right on a forehand and left on a backhand. I'm definitely going to continue to play with the loft disc silicon and I really appreciate them sending it out to me. It's gonna be a really great backhand overstable utility disc. And I'm gonna to toy with it as a straighter option for my forehand. It really just wants to carry straight. It doesn't wanna fade super hard. In my opinion, it doesn't fly like a 03. Kind of flies more like a 02. So a little bit more straighter than advertised, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. 
but in comparison to the flight numbers, I think it's a little straighter for me than advertised. With all that being said, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. You're watching Iceberg TV and take care.